Homecoming Week 2019 for the University of Central Florida Knights at Spectrum Stadium. The fun got underway early in the day for the nightcap with 43,000 anxious fans ready to get back into the win column after their team's bye week. The Knights haven't played a game since losing at Cincinnati October 4th in what was their first conference loss since 2016. Tonight, UCF looks to regroup at home where they have an 18-game win streak. Their opponent, the East Carolina Pirates, who've struggled mightily against UCF in recent years, being outscored 100-31 to in their last two meetings. This year, it gets no easier. Coming in tonight's matchup, UCF ranks third in the country, averaging 45 points a game. So if East Carolina has any shot tonight, they're going to have to keep that vaunted offense off the field. And that means moving the chains themselves and limiting the big plays from the Knights. The atmosphere was amped up for this one, and the Knights fed off of that homecoming energy early and often. Freshman quarterback Dylan Gabriel hits Marlon Williams for the big play across the middle, takes it all the way down to the one-yard line, 52 yards there. The Knights would punch it in a play later. Already up 14, Bentavious Thompson is going to make one cut, and he's gone. The Pirates looking more like Matadors playing a little Ole defense as Thompson parts the middle of the field like the Red Sea. 21-0 UCF after one, and the Knights want more, and they would get it. Daryl Mack Jr. in at quarterback. He's going to hit Gabriel Davis for a 33-yard strike. The very next drive, it's Davis again, who was a man among boys in the first half. Seven grabs for a buck 15, two scores. UCF up 35-6 at the break, and East Carolina's just going to lay down in this one, right? Wrong. In the third, Leroy Henley blocks a punt for the Pirates. They would score a play later. 35-16 now in the third. Holton Ehlers is going to keep it, and it's a sprint to see he can get to the pylon first. Ehlers showing off the wheels, and the Pirates showing a little moxie, reeling off 19 straight points. 35-22 now. However, the Knights would respond. Gabriel, Trey Nixon, and that would be the dagger as the Knights charge on in this one, winning by a final of 41 to 28. Afterwards, coach Josh Heupel said he liked the way that his team executed on both sides of the ball in the first half, but it was the injuries throughout the game that were the subject of conversation. I obviously uh, was pleased with uh, a lot of what we did in the, in the first half, man. I, I thought defensively we're dialed in. You know, I had a bunch of guys uh, offensively in that second quarter and then in the second half, about five guys that uh, had been starting for us that uh, got nicked up and some, uh, some two stepped in, did, did a lot of positive things. I don't have anything on, on the guys that got nicked up tonight and, and where they'll be for next week. Just one of those nights in, in a physical game. You know what I mean? This is a, this is a physical game. So uh, we got to get those guys healthy. Got a big one next Saturday. That's 19 straight victories at home for the UCF Knights. But next week, they have to hit the road to face a tough Tipple team. And they may have to do it without several key starters. Something we'll definitely monitor this upcoming week. Reporting from Spectrum Stadium, Michael Bick, Full Sail Live.